hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so after a long time i'm posting a video and today the topic which i'm going to discuss with you all is flow diagram and flow diagram is uh, one of the statistical diagram uh, which is in the syllabus of class 11 and uh, here in this video i'm going to teach you how to do the flow diagram and how to make the scale okay uh, like this kind of scale for the flow diagram so without much delay let's start the video so the data which has been provided to us are as follows here we can see three different rows with the directions length and number of buses so directions you can see north south east west northeast and southwest and the length of the road towards the respective directions has also been given that is 45 33 47 52 61 and 73 uh, similarly number of buses which is plying on this particular road is also given to us towards the respective directions that is 15 19 22 49 33 and 44 okay now in order to do any kind of practical works or the draw the you know the statistical diagram we need a scale and we have to select a very suitable scale uh, for the highest and the lowest numbers and all which has been given in the data okay so I'm going to select two different scales here for the length of the road as well as for the number of buses and I'm going to show you uh, both the scales also how to draw the scales so for the length of the road uh, I have taken I'm taking is uh, 1 centimeter to 10 kilometer long that means 1 centimeter on the paper represents 10 kilometer on the ground okay so number of buses also uh, we have to take a certain scale and we have to select a very suitable scale uh, for the highest as well as for the lowest also so highest is 49 and 15 so the scale which i'm going to take over here is also uh, one centimeter to one centimeter to 10 buses okay so first for most the lengths so here the length uh, for the length uh, the scale which I have taken for the uh, drawing the you know the road towards the different direction is 1 centimeter to 10 kilometer so that means for 45 kilometer I have to do a draw a 4.5 centimeter long line similarly for 33 3.3 .3. for 47 4.7 centimeter 52 is 5.2 61 6.1 and for 73 uh, it will be 7.3 centimeter uh, long line we have to draw okay so first let us plot uh, this length of the road or the let us draw the length of the road so for drawing the uh, road uh, first what we have to do is we have to draw a <coughs> small circle yes we have to draw a small circle and towards the respective directions we need to draw this lines so towards the north we have uh, 45 kilometers so that means 4.5 and while drawing the line you have to draw the line from the circumference of that circle okay keeping the midpoint uh, in the center that is absolutely necessary because uh, otherwise the you know the directions might not be in the uh, correct uh, you know uh, angle so towards the south we have to draw is 3.3 uh, and towards the east we have 4.7 uh, 4.7 long we have to draw similarly to the west is also 4. Point, uh, sorry 5.2 for northeast it will be 6.1 and for southwest it will be 7.3 okay students so this is how we plot the uh, directions for the uh, length of the road now second what we have to do is the scale for the number of buses so here scale what I have taken is 1 centimeter to 10 buses isn't it now first step what we have to do is we have to draw a horizontal line of any length you can draw after that you can divide it uh, in several divisions of 1 centimeter okay 
uh, by taking one centimeter because that is the scale what we have taken so divisions also how you will do is you have to see the highest number of buses so the highest number of buses over here is 49 okay so i am taking a or i am making a division of uh, 5 okay so the highest value will be here 50 because the number of buses highest is 49 so in case if it was 69 the highest number then the division would have been up to 70 okay so that is how the divisions the horizontal divisions of that uh, the divisions of that uh, horizontal line has to be done now the second trick what we have to do is we have to take a length of 2 millimeter and by taking the length of 2 millimeter we have to make a bars for the separate divisions a bar of 2 millimeter okay in an ascending order that also I'm going to show you so we have to make a bar for the different divisions so first division 0 to 10 we have to make a bar of 2 millimeter so here I have made the bar for the first division it is of 2 millimeter now when we are making a bar for the second division that is from 10 to 20 okay 10 to 20 we have to increase by 2 millimeter understood like for the first division it was for the first uh, bar first bar was of 2 millimeter now the second bar will be of 4 millimeter we have to increase by 2 millimeter in each of the divisions it will go in ascending order so the second bar is of 4 millimeter so similarly we have to draw the bar for the third division also that is from 20 to 30 okay 20 to 30 and it will be of 6 millimeter as I have said earlier we have to make a bar in the each of the divisions and that will increase by Two millimeter the bar which I am making for the uh, division of uh, 20 to 30 it will be of 6 millimeter as I've said earlier we have to make bar for each division separate bars for each division that will increase by 2 millimeter okay so the fourth bar which I'm making here for 30 to 40 it will be of millimeter so students i hope you have understood how to make the uh, scale for the number of buses okay so this is how uh, this is the way to prepare the scale for the uh, buses now for the last uh, this year division that is from 40 to 50 we have to make a bar of uh, 10 millimeter which is equals to 1 centimeter also now after we finish uh, after we finish making the bars for the individual divisions what we need to do is we have to extend okay we have to extend the top of all the bars towards the end like you see like uh, you see in the uh, video I'm extending the top of the bars the lines towards the end of the bar okay uh, this is the thickness the thickness that we are getting for the individual divisions like for 10 to 0 to 10 it will be 2 millimeter from 10 to 20 it will be 4 okay from 20 to 30 it will be 6 30 to 40 it will be 8 and from 40 to 50 it will be 10 millimeter okay so this is how we make the scale for the number of buses okay so uh, so the different uh, divisions for the different divisions there are different thickness also okay so why we need this thickness is that also I am going to show you because we have to plot this okay the number of buses we have to plot it in the different uh, directions which are which we have already done before now I am going to show you how to plot it so students if you see the data which has been provided to us towards the north direction the number of buses flying is 15 so it falls between 10 to 20 okay so the 10 to 20 the bar which we have made for 10 to 20 okay is of 4 millimeter so that means the thickness which we are getting for 10 to 20 okay in between 10 to 20 whatever the number falls between 10 to 20 if it was 18 also it would have been 4 millimeter so now what we have to do is that we have to take that 4 millimeter and we have to divide it 
equally on the both side of that line okay like 2 millimeter on one side and 2 millimeter on the other side like which I am doing it here in the diagram as you can see here okay 2 millimeter in one side of the line and 2 millimeter on the other side so the total thickness will be of 4 millimeter so after uh, like plotting that uh, in the top and at the bottom of the line you can uh, join it with another like we can join that two different dots as you can see here in the diagram so similarly we have to plot the same way to the other directions also so now the direction towards the direction south again 19 buses are applying so 19 also falls between 10 to 20 so the thickness which we have to take is of again 4 millimeter so that 4 millimeter has to be divided equally on the both side of that line which we have done for towards the south so 2 millimeter on one side and 2 millimeter on the other side so after plotting that dots at the top at the bottom of that line we can join it in this way which I, which I have shown in this video I hope you are getting how to use that thickness which we have uh, got it for the different uh, divisions now uh, towards the east the number of buses flying is 22 so it falls between uh, 20 to 30 okay so 20 to 30 the division or the thickness which you have got is 6 millimeter so that 6 millimeter has to be equally divided on the both the side of the line so 3 millimeter on one side and 3 millimeter on the other side okay so as i am showing it here in the uh, video so here 3 millimeter one and 3 millimeter on the uh, like uh, side on the one the side so after drawing it at the top and the bottom again join it with the line so in the similar manner we have to do it for the other directions also we need, we need uh, okay so we have to uh, see the you know the number of buses which are applying towards that direction now uh, towards the west if you see we have 49 buses which are applying to that direction so 49 falls between 40 and 50 so the thickness which we get for 40 to 50 is uh, 10 millimeter that is 1 centimeter okay so we have to divide it equally again so on the one side it will be 5 millimeter and the other side it will be 5 millimeter so in that way we can divide it equally so after again uh, you know drawing it at the top and the bottom you can join that two different dots okay so if you see over here in the different directions we get different thickness isn't it different uh, width of the uh, this year lines okay so after uh, if yes we can join these two different line also later on when we uh, draw for all the thickness when we draw that thickness for all the directions okay so towards the northeast it is uh, 33 so the thickness it will be between 30 to 40 so it will be 8 millimeter so 4 millimeter on one side and 4 millimeter on the other side like this which I'm showing here in the video so students this is how we uh, do the flow diagram according to the data which has been uh, provided to us so I hope this video was helpful to uh, you all okay now uh, the last direction which is remaining is towards the uh, southwest so towards the southwest we have 44 uh, vehicles flying so 44 also falls between uh, 40 to 50 so that means it is uh, the width will be of total and uh, 5 millimeter on one side and 5 millimeter on the other side so again you can uh, join it with the line like over here which I'm doing it in the video and uh, the one which is left the lines which has not been joined you can also join it with the free hand or with the help of the scale also so if any extra lines are there you can uh, rub it afterwards or else or else we can uh, shed it also
students this is how uh, we do the uh, flow diagram okay so i hope this video was helpful to all and uh, please do comment and subscribe my channel uh, in order to see the further uh, videos on different topics based on geography